Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Mr. Saucedo's YouTube videos. Today we're going to be looking at a unique phenomenon called the miracle fish. And so what you're going to be doing is collecting some evidence. In our case, you're just going to be looking at the video as your evidence, but still write down kind of what happens. Um, and you're going to make a claim. I want you to figure out what is causing this to happen. So in case you haven't seen a miracle fish before, uh, what you do is you put it in the palm of your hand and how it moves tells you what kind of person you are. So it's kind of like a fortune telling kind of thing. But obviously, we don't believe in good fortunes in science. So I want you to figure out what you think might be causing the movement of the fish. So when it's on a piece of paper uh, like this or on like a cold desk or something, uh, nothing seems to happen. But when I put it on the palm of my hand, if I can do that without it just falling over, um, look and observe what happens. And again, I'm not really trying to move my hand at all, but you can see the head curling up and the tail curling up. And then when I put it back on the paper, it starts to flatten out again. And depending on what happens, it's supposed to tell you what kind of person you are. So with the head and the tail moving, I'm in love, okay? Or maybe, that would be curling sides. But anyway, the whole point is, what do you think might be causing this to happen? Think of all the possibilities of what might be causing the fish to move when it's on the palm of your hand, but not when it's just on a piece of paper on a table, okay? The most important part of this, though, is that you're gonna write a detailed procedure for how you would test it. So don't just tell me, oh, I think it's this. You need to give me how you would test for that. So. Um, make sure you have a numbered list of steps, and you can use whatever kinds of things you'd like to use. So pretend that price is no object, and that you're able to conduct this experiment to test your claim um, as thoroughly and as efficiently as possible. Okay?